So, I haven't posted to this channel for years, mostly because I don't really see myself as someone qualified to be giving any sort of influencer beauty advice. I just sing on the internet. Um, but since quarantine started, I've been getting pretty handy when it comes to doing my own stuff. So I figured I'd tell you guys about it. And I just make one big hair video uh, and just show you guys what I use. Um, oh yeah, I'm posting this because I posted a picture of my hair on Instagram and people were asking how I did it. You can see it's already gone down um, because I have very straight, very flat hair, but I'll still show you how to do it. And I'm sure if you put a little more um, hairspray, it would probably last a bit better. I also touch my hair a lot, so that's probably why <laughs> it's starting to drop already. But, so I figured I'd tell you um, about what I do for my hair. Um, and I always feel like it's easiest to start off any sort of these videos with like a description of how my hair is because this might not work for you. But um, I have like just regular hair. Like my scalp doesn't get greasy. It doesn't get dry. Um, I bleach the crap out of it, obviously, but I get it done. I don't do it myself. And um, oh, it's dead straight. It doesn't have any body naturally. So if that sounds like your hair, um, then this might work for you. So um, I figured I'd start with like what I wash, how I wash my hair and like what I put in it. Um, so naturally, obviously my hair is like that color. I know I'm a fake blonde. Um, and usually it's lighter than this, but over Christmas, I dyed it red. All the evidence has been deleted from my Instagram. It was during a mental breakdown and I don't think I'll ever do it again, but it's starting to fade now to like strawberry blonde. So, um, yeah, it's fine. Anyway, um, so yeah, I get my hair bleached. Usually it's like very bright blonde. Um, and the way I keep it healthy is I just use Olaplex on it every three weeks or so. And I only use heat on it like once a week, maybe, if I'm being generous. Um, this stuff literally fixes like any hair problem. If you've really screwed it up by like bleaching it too much or if it's feeling really rough or you use too much heat on it, this stuff is like insane. Also, so this is very different from like a moisturizing hair mask. Um, a moisturizing hair mask will have like oils and stuff like that, which will help moisturize your hair strands. This is a bond reconstructor. So when you do stuff to your hair, like you heat it up or if you bleach it, your hair um, shafts will start to break down. Um, and that's kind of what makes it feel rough. And this fills in those like broken down pieces and makes it all smooth again. So I say that because you'll also need a moisturizing mask if you really want to like go all out. Personally, I, for the first time, um, just put a bunch of castor oil in my hair the other day for like six hours. Um, and it worked really well. Um, it took a little bit to wash out, but I really liked it. So you could probably pair both of these, not at the same time, but, um, that would probably do a lot for your hair. Um, trying to get all the red dye out of my hair, I mixed malic acid and shampoo. So clearly I have no regard for my safety and I just put it in my hair for an hour and then worked out. So I sweat malic acid all the way down my face and gave myself chemical burns behind my ear. I say this to say you might not want to take my advice or use your own judgment before doing anything that I do because I clearly don't care very much. But anyway, I did that and it dried out my scalp and it dried out my hair and I put castor oil in it and it fixed it mostly. Okay, so that's um, the treatment I use. I wash my hair in the shower. I, I wash it whenever I wash it. I don't have any like set time. I know some people are like every three days or every week. I just, whenever, I probably wash it too much, but I don't know. I like having clean hair. Anyway, so when I get out of the shower, um, uh, because my hair has been bleached and because it's dead straight, it does not brush easily when it's wet. And so I use this, it's a 10 miracle leave-in for blondes. Um, I think it's for blondes because it has a slight purple tint to it, but this is not going to do anything to your hair. It's not going to tint it. Um, if 
you want recommendations for blonde like purple shampoo i'll give them to you um in the comments if you're still using shimmer lights you're wasting your time it doesn't have enough pigment in it and it doesn't do anything but i'll leave some recommendations below anyway so um i put that in brush it out um and then so for today when i actually did my hair um i brushed it while it was wet parted it in the middle um and started to put my um curlers in first i dried it a little bit so it wasn't like soaking wet um and then i put the curlers in but i will show you the formation that i put them in um so that you can get a better idea of how to do it um so i have these velcro rollers um from the place that does blowouts and all their branding is yellow um i don't really know the name i forget it i'll link them below whatever anyway so the thing is when you want to do like a blowout like this or get that sort of look you don't need to put all of your hair in curlers um so the first thing i did was i i don't have a comb i should really have a comb i've been using the other side of my eyebrow brush um to do this but so first you're going to want to like part your hair here like and then kind of on the other side well it's basically kind of already parted there so then you'll pin back all your other hair. Sorry that I'm not doing this for you live, but I just like wanted to make this video when so many people were asking and I couldn't wait. So my hair's already done, but it's fine. Okay, so I like using clipping away whatever hair I'm not working with. So then you're gonna take, you're gonna section off like the back bit. This is what's gonna give you like the massive volume and the thing is you always want to roll kind of like you'll see what i mean like under so you're lifting the root of your hair up and not pressing it down if that makes any sense um so you like take one of these and then i'm gonna do this really badly but just use your imagination take one of these and then you like lift it up blah 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 and then you roll it down looks like an absolute mess but I usually put four on the top of my head. So you're gonna take the whole crown of your head and section it into four pieces and roll them like this. Then um, I usually, so when I say roll under, I mean so that the root of your hair is being lifted up. So if I went the other, if I went the other way, let's just imagine, do you see how I'm pressing the root down? So that's not going to do anything for volume. So you want to make sure that it's lifted. Um, and then the way that I usually connect them um, when they're on my head because they don't stay in my hair. Actually, um, save my life with this kind of stuff. Is So say I have two rollers <laughs> on my head. This is an A+. Plus. I'm such an influencer. It should be a beauty channel. All right. So say you have these two on your head. Imagine that you have hair in them and you don't want them to fall instead of doing each one because you're going in twos you can just clip them together like that and then they stay on your head and you don't crease your hair what can i say i'm a genius probably everyone does that i think it's new because i just figured it out but anyway so you're going to do that all across your crown like you're a um like you have a mohawk of rollers and then um the only other rollers i did was uh so this is like the worst tutorial ever all right so say i have all this in rollers already just imagine um then i took a smaller roller and i sectioned off the shorter part of my layers so like here and then i just took a smaller roller and rolled it up and this time we're gonna roll under, but that's because we're not flattening, then our roots are staying up. And you do this on either side. And then the last roller you put in, so you're gonna put four like this, like a dinosaur, and then two right here, so you look like a founding father. And then you put one more, I put one more like here on each side. So for this side, it doesn't really matter that much, but I um, part my hair to this side. And so it gives a little bit of volume 
like there. It's all gone flat because my hair is flat. But so you're gonna have four, two, and then two here. Then for the hair that you've left at the bottom, um, you don't really need to worry about body or volume for that because that's all happening on top of your head. So on the bottom, um, I like put the rollers in, did my makeup, and then I curled the bottom of my things with this, um, which is great. I will also link this. Um, when I took the rollers out, I ran each hair, not each hair, but like each section through this thing just to smooth it out and then to add the, make sure I had the little bump at the ends. Um, but make sure that you're lifting up while you're doing this because you don't want to kill all the volume that you just made with your so for example i'm not going to do that i'm going to do this does that make sense anyway yeah i use that to smooth it out and oh the other two main products that i used in this thing um I use this in my roots. It's the Kristen S volumizing mousse. So while my hair was still dry, um, I put it into my root roots, roots. Um, I put it in my roots, flipped my head over and, um, used my blow dryer, um, to try to get a little extra volume before I put everything in. And then, um, I'm actually leaning my phone on it, but I use the Kristen S, um, facing the other way. Um, I use the Kristen S hairspray as well when I was done. Um, and it has a really fine mist, which is nice because it doesn't look away your hair down at all. Um, another great hairspray is L'Oreal L Nut. Um, I used to use that religiously before I used this. I just bought this because they had really nice branding and they were at Target. So I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. Um, but it's just as good as L'Oreal L Nut. And also when you're applying the the hairspray you want to just like flip your head first and go like this kind of to lift any sort of texture you've already made in your hair um i think that's it oh wait okay i've also been cutting my hair in quarantine um and i just wanted to share with you how i've been doing that oh okay if you want to cut your hair in quarantine Get yourself a good pair of hair cutting scissors because they make a big difference. Also, they um, help cut down on like weird split ends that you get from dull blades and everything. So these are like nice hair cutting scissors. Um, and the way that I basically cut my hair is uh, I've done it two or three times now and never for length. Um, I just wanted like more body. Um, I also cut my friend's hair and it turned out really good. So I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I'm like pretty good at this. So um, I have, even though my hair is really straight, um, it's really weirdly thick. Um, so the first thing I did, cause I actually really like it. Some people like the straight cuts at the end. I like it when it gets wispy at the end. My hair never does cause it's like weird and thick. So I just went in and it absolutely hacked out probably half my hair volume. And I'll show you how I did it. So if you have heavy straight hair, this is gonna be a game changer for you because this is how I made my hair look not flat. So you're gonna wanna pin up all the hair that is going to be imagined like on the top of your part. So hair that you would see kind of. So you pin that up because you don't wanna mess with that because then you're gonna look crazy. Um, okay. I'm going to ruin my hair by showing you how I cut it, but it's fine. All right. So, um, first things first, before I do any layers, I'm not actually going to cut anything now. Um, but I thin out my hair like so much, like I've taken half my hair out by doing this. So what I basically do is you section off a bit of hair. You usually don't want to go like close to the front or on the top because this is supposed to be invisible. You don't want anyone to see it. Um, and then I guess I should do it so you guys can see it. I, I won't actually cut, but imagine I'm closing my scissors as I go down, um, to kind of, and then when you take a comb through it, all this hair will come out in your hand 
and that'll be hair that you cut out, but you won't be able to tell um, when you're done. So I do that to take out all the extra weight in my hair and I do it all over. I mean, like I've like, I could have made a whole nother wig from all the hair I took out. Um, but so yeah, I do that. And then for the rest of my haircut, it's just face framing layers, um, and bangs. Uh, so I hope this is interesting. <laughs> Um, okay, so for layers, you're going to want to pull, take like some of your hair and do you kind of take a brush, you want to brush it up and then you brush it up I got a point. and then, um, I'm like scissors. So you're going to want to hold it all the way up. It's harder when you have long hair like me and then you just cut it straight. And what that's gonna do is obviously you wanna like part it correctly, but as your hair then falls down, the parts closest to, to the middle would be the shortest and it'll evenly lengthen out um, to do like nice looking layers. So you lift, and I would almost use like all the hair that you were thinning out, leave that alone, and then the hair on the top of your head that you could um, layer. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is what I do with my hair. I don't want anyone cutting their hair, screwing it up, and then blaming me for it, but this is what I do. Okay, so once that's done, um, so I thin it out and then I, oh, I always do my haircuts um, parted in the middle because I wear my hair I parted in the middle, parted on the side, so anyway. Um, then to do my bangs, you'll be able to kind of see the shape of them when I brush it. Yeah. Okay. I look like, girl, like that girl in the ring. Um, okay, so I take my bangs and then I pull them to one side and I do a little snip snip. And then I pull them to the other side and I do a little snip snip. And then um and then I take my hair and then I drag the scissors down. This is also why you need sharp scissors and not like your kitchen scissors because it'll make this way easier. So then I like drag it down as I pull backwards and that creates that layer. And then I do the same on the other side. Um, and that's pretty much my haircut. Um, I don't know how to cut for length uh, because I'm not good at making things even. I don't know if you can kind of see how long it is. Um, but I don't really feel like taking a lot of inches off my hair right now anyway. So, um, yeah, so that's how I cut my hair. I think that's everything hair related. Oh, when I was done with everything, I put a little bit of this Theory Marula oil in the bottom just to like make it kind of PC and shiny. Um, and yeah, I think I'll just list everything below. Um, but I just like <laughs> want to say that um, even if you do all of this, my hair on a regular day just looks like flat with layers. The reason why it looks like this today is because I literally went all out and put rollers in. So using this stuff is like not going to make your hair <laughs> look like full of body or whatever. It's just because I did it. But it will make your hair soft. Um, yeah, so that's my hair routine. It's how I do my hair. I hope this was helpful. Signing off. <laughs>